right here. I'm working on an old pocket watch. It's uh, it's actually a uh, desk clock. It's Swiss made. It says uh, Sphinx on it. Um, probably named after the famous boxer Leon Sphinx. Um, anyway, I'm taking the hands off here and very carefully with Rodico protecting the face. And then I remove it. I've got the little screw that removes the stem. Um, and then I realized, okay, maybe I've got to take some pressure off the mainspring, so we'll put that screw back in there and do that. There are the guts on the inside. There's a uh, quick shot of the uh, of the balance, and then I loosen that screw up for the balance, and then I wedge the screwdriver in, and then there's a dagger that aligns the, uh, the balance in place, so which is good. And I relieve the power on the um, on the mainspring. The little little thing I showed you there, and that relieves the power on the mainspring. And I'm able to to remove that. So right here, I've got the uh, pallet fork, and again, I've got a plate on top, and there's a little dagger that aligns that as well. So oh, I figured out how to take the face off. There's two springs around those posts right there, and the other side, and they gra grab <coughs> grab the daggers from the uh, the face. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, there's the, uh, I've taken that apart, put it on a nice little stand here. Then I take the uh, main plate off for the uh, mainspring, or the plate off for the mainspring. And I, I, I cleaned that mainspring before. <coughs> I know I have. Um, I think I swallowed the watch part or something a few seconds ago. Because I'm not sure why I'm coughing. I must have swallowed a watch part. So there's the pallet fork. It's in good condition. <coughs> another cough for you and then uh, <coughs> and then I've uh, loosened the plate up by just wedging the uh, screwdriver in there because the screws for the plates are the same ones that keep that main plate on like for the uh, screw for the plate that's over the top of the mainspring and I take a picture of the wheels so I can remove the wheels then I've got to take that uh, cannon pinion out so I use a special tool to help loosen that it pulls up on the cannon pinion and pushes down on the main plate. Then I use some hand levers to uh, loosen that up again. Um, and I'm finished with that. Uh, there's a nice picture of the cannon pinion and my knuckles. Um, and that fits onto the main wheel like that and it grasps, it grabs it basically with friction. Um, then I take the, um, I was taking the ratchet wheel off I believe there, just unscrewing some plates again. For the keyless mechanism, the keyless used to wind and set the watch or the clock or whatever the heck this thing is then I take these plates off here and this is for the uh, I think that's the ratchet wheel there that, that turns the uh, winds the mainspring um, and then I've got uh, just a few other things to do and here you're gonna make sure that bottom the uh, pivot is sitting in the jewel nice and you don't have any issues there that's kind of what I was showing there you got the end shake is right and the mainspring is clean as a whistle because I think I cleaned it and I put it back together again so pop that baby back in. Here's the jaws of life. The jaws of life used to remove the uh, cannon pinion. And these are nippers used for nipping. And that's all she wrote. <laughs>